In today's video, I'll be showing you step-by-step step how to build a job board in 2024. I'll show you several different ways to create one, but we recommend using a platform called Jboard. They make it super easy for anyone to make a job board with no coding knowledge necessary. So whether you're an individual recruiter, a business, or someone looking to create a new revenue stream, this guide is for you. Here's what we'll be covering in this video. Number one, choosing the type of job board you wanna build. Number two, selecting the technology for your job board. Number three, choosing a domain name for your job board. Number four, filling your job board with jobs. Number five, optimizing for SEO. And lastly, number six, launching your job board. Step number one, choose the type of job board. The first step in building your job board is deciding what type of job board you wanna create. There are several types to consider, each serving different purposes and audiences. Job board as a business. So these are standalone businesses focusing on specific industries, regions, or demographics. For example, airline jobs jobs focuses on the aviation industry. These job boards often use features like advanced monetization options, SEO tools to drive traffic, and email alerts to engage users. For monetization, they offer services like pay per post, job posting packages, access to resume databases, or subscription models. For SEO, they utilize good on-page SEO, fast page speeds, customizable meta titles and descriptions, and Google job integration. Email alerts. They set up notifications to retain a user base and keep job seekers engaged. Job board for associations. So these boards serve as an additional revenue stream for associations by advertising employment opportunities to their members. They focus on monetization, maintaining a professional members database, and sending email alerts to their members. Job board for staffing and recruitment agencies. These help agencies boost exposure for their clients' open positions and attract new candidates. Key features include a resume database, customizable forms, and email alerts. Job board for schools and universities. These boards direct students to relevant internships and job opportunities, often with separate categories for different programs. Features include student profiles, advanced reporting, and email alerts for students. Job board for UGC marketing. So these boards generate user-generated content, often used by SaaS companies to build a relevant user base. They focus on job scraping, SEO tools, and email alerts. Job board for VC firms. These boards help venture capital firms support their portfolio companies by centralizing job listings and attracting top talent. Important features include automatic job aggregation, a talent network, and email alerts. So deciding on the type of job board will help you identify the features that you need and the best tools to use. Step two, select the technology. Next up is selecting the technology for your job board. There are four main options that we'll talk about. Job board software. So platforms like Jboard offer advanced features such as job scraping, SEO tools, email alerts, and resume databases. They are easy to set up and perfect for those who want a hassle-free solution. Some of the pros are they have advanced features, dedicated support, no extra cost for hosting and maintenance, no coding required. As for the cons, they tend to be a little bit higher cost compared to website builders and they have a little bit more limited design customization. Next, we have website builders. So tools like Webflow, Wix, and Squarespace can be used to create a simple job board. However, they lack specific features like job scraping and resume databases. The pros are that no coding is necessary and there's a variety of themes as well as managed technical aspects. Now the cons are there's no Google Jobs integrations, there's limited support for job boards, and it has basic user experience features. Another option would be using WordPress and hosting via Bluehost. So WordPress is a versatile content management system that when paired with Bluehost, a reliable hosting service, can be a powerful combination for creating a job board. Bluehost offers a variety of hosting plans tailored to WordPress users, providing robust support, easy installation, and seamless integration. Some of the pros are there's customizable themes, a wide range of plugins, reliable hosting via Bluehost, 24 seven support, and enhanced security features. The cons are it requires some technical skills for setup and customization, and then ongoing updates can be complex and there's potential security issues. So Bluehost offers one-click WordPress installation, 24 seven customer support, a free domain for the first year, and automatic WordPress updates, making it a great choice for hosting your job board. If you want to get started with Bluehost, be sure to click the link down in the description, which will bring you to this page right here. Here you can select from one of Bluehost's four different plans, and you can get started for as low as $1.99 per month by choosing the basic plan. Again, we'll have a link down in the description to get started with Bluehost or you could start from scratch. So this option is for those with extensive coding knowledge or the budget to hire a development team. 
It offers the most customization, but is time consuming and expensive. The pros are it's fully customizable, so there'll be a wide variety of features. The cons are is it requires coding experience or hiring someone with coding experience. It's time consuming, expensive, and there's no built-in support. Step three, choose a domain name. Once you've chosen your platform, it's time to pick a domain name. Your domain name should be short, memorable, and give you an idea of what your job board is about. Here are a few tips. Keep it short and simple. A short, easy to remember domain name is crucial. Examples include remoteok.com, airlinejobs.com, and techsalesjobs.org. Check availability. Use tools like GoDaddy to check the availability of your desired domain name. Consider SEO. Including keywords related to your niche can help with SEO. You also need to decide whether to use a root domain, so job-board-name.com, or a subdomain, jobs.yourwebsite.com. Using a subdomain can be beneficial if you already have a recognized brand and want to transfer some of your SEO rankings to the job board. Step four, fill your job board with jobs. Now it's time to fill your job board with job listings. In this example, we will be using Jboard because it's super easy to set up because it's a no code job board builder that simplifies this entire process. So to get started with Jboard, just click the link down in the description, which will bring you to this page right here where you can get started with a free trial. All you need to do is click on start free trial and then fill out some short information here. So you just need to type in your job board name, company name, company size, your full name, email address, and a password. All right, once you have all that filled out, just check the I accept the terms and service button, click sign up and continue. So now you need to choose your plan and you can save 20% when you choose the annual billing. So Jboard has three different plans, the light, standard, and advanced. The light plan comes with styles and text customization, custom domain and free SSL, SEO optimized job board, custom pages, built-in blogging platform, backfilled jobs, charge for job postings, job scrapers, 3,000 active jobs, and 2,500 job alert subscribers. So obviously the other plans are gonna come with more features, but for most of you just getting started, the light plan will be more than enough to get started. So after you've gone ahead and selected your plan, it's gonna ask for your credit card information, but it won't charge your credit card until after the 14 day free trial. So you can try it out and see if it's right for you. Okay, and once you go ahead and sign up for Jboard, select your plan, enter your credit card information, this is where you will end up. So this is the Jboard dashboard, and they have a really handy setup checklist that'll walk you through everything that you need to do to get started with Jboard. So the first thing we'll do is go ahead and just come on here to customize appearance. So this is where you can upload your logo, change colors, and styling to match your branding. So if we click on that, this is where you can go ahead and upload your logo, your favicon, and select your main colors. Next here on the setup checklist, we have the view your job board. So let's go ahead and click on that. And here it'll point us up here where we can go click on the name of our job board. And we can click here to view our job board website. So when we click on that, it brings us over here to the job board website. And as you can see, it's pretty standard right now since we haven't customized anything and it went ahead and filled it with some example jobs just so you can see what it'll look like once it is filled with jobs. And as you can see, Jboard, it just makes it look very professional and I haven't even done anything yet. This is just the base template. So it's a really good option if you wanna get up and running quickly with a great looking job board using Jboard's scraper tool. So Jboard makes it incredibly easy to import jobs from other websites using its job scraping tool. So this tool automatically imports job listings from various sources, saving you the hassle of manually adding each job. So here's how you can do it. To import jobs, we're gonna navigate to the job aggregation tab on your Jboard dashboard. So on our Jboard dashboard, that is right over here under job aggregation. And then we're gonna come here to aggregators. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on add aggregator. So we'll click on that button right here and we're gonna choose web page scraper. So we'll go ahead and click on web page scraper. So I just went ahead and typed in indeed.com. So we'll go ahead and enter indeed and we can go ahead and start configuring the web page scraper. So here you can go ahead and name this aggregator. We'll just leave it as indeed.com. And here we have the URL. And then here we can select active jobs limit. So for this example, we'll go ahead and just select 10. And next there's the employer details. So here we can either get job from posting or select the employer manually. We'll go ahead and just leave it on get from job 
job posting. And then down here, we can filter jobs. So we can filter with keywords. For example, you could select software developer, engineer, etc. And then you can also exclude keywords as well. So in this example, you could exclude chemical engineer, mechanical engineer, etc. We'll go ahead and leave this blank for now and click on create. And as we can see, the aggregator is currently running and scraping jobs as we speak. This process ensures that you have a wide variety of listings, enhancing the appeal of your job board to its visitors. Manually adding jobs. While the scraper tool is great, you might also want to manually add job listings to maintain quality and relevance. And here's how to do that. Step one, go to the job sections on your Jboard dashboard. Step two, click on add job and fill in the job details such as title, description, company, location, and requirements. Step three, customize the job listing to ensure that it meets your quality standards and it's relevant to your audience. Step four, save the job listing and publish it on your job board. So we'll click on over here and click on jobs add job and this is where we can go ahead and manually add our job so for the status we'll go ahead click on confirmed job title we'll type in ceo employer we'll go ahead and click on uber job type full-time category we'll select other tags you can go ahead and select any tags that you like in here for now we'll leave that blank and then job description you can go ahead and fill in whatever you'd like here. You can go ahead and fill out the compensation and select the currency as well as the frequency. And then you can fill out how to apply and you can either apply by the link or apply by email and enter your link or email right there and enter the location as well and check this box if it is a remote job. And then there's a posting date as well as a job expiries date. And we'll go ahead and click on create. And we can see that we just created a new job. So now if we go to our job board and we go ahead and scroll all the way down until we get past these example jobs. We'll see this CEO for Uber that we just created and we can go ahead and click on apply. Keeping your job board updated with fresh job listings is crucial for maintaining relevance and attracting returning visitors. Here are some tips. Schedule regular scrapes. You can use Jboard Scraper tool to schedule regular imports from trusted sources. Monitor job listings. Regularly check your job listings to remove outdated or filled positions. Engage with employers. Encourage employers to post new job listings directly on your job board. User experience tips. Enable job alerts. Allow users to sign up for job alerts based on their preferences. Use SEO best practices. Optimize job listings with relevant keywords to improve search engine visibility. Integrate social sharing. Add social media sharing options to job listings to increase visibility. By following these steps, you can ensure that your job board is filled with relevant, high quality job listings that attract visitors and keep them coming back. Step five, optimize for SEO. SEO optimization is crucial for driving traffic to your job board. Use SEO tools to optimize your site for search engines by organizing and tagging your pages based on job type, category, and location. Platforms like Jboard come with built-in SEO features to help you get started. Here are some key SEO strategies. Keyword optimization. Use relevant keywords in your job descriptions, titles, and meta tags. Create relevant content. Write blog posts and articles related to your niche to attract attract more visitors. Optimize page speed. Ensure your job board loads quickly to improve user experience and search engine rankings. Use schema markup. Implement schema markup to help search engines understand your job listings and display them in search results. Build backlinks. Get other websites to link to your job board to increase your site's authority and improve your SEO. Step six, launch your job board. Finally, it's time to launch your job board. But remember, launching is just the beginning. You need to continually update your platform with new job listings and SEO optimizations to keep it growing. Here are the steps to a successful launch. Do a final review. Double check all your settings, job listings, and SEO optimizations. Soft launch. Consider a soft launch to test the site with a small audience and make any necessary adjustments. Promote your launch. Use social media, email marketing, and other channels to announce your launch and attract visitors. Monitor performance. Use analytics tools to monitor your site's performance and make data-driven decisions to improve it. Gather feedback. Collect feedback from users to identify areas for improvement and to make necessary changes. And there you have it, a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide to building your job board in 2024. Using a platform like Jboard can make the process easier and more efficient, allowing you to focus on growing your business. Don't forget to check out the link in the description for a 14-day free trial of Jboard. And if you wanted to go the WordPress route, we also have a link in the description for Bluehost as well. Now, these are affiliate links, so they do help out the channel at no extra cost to you. 
So if you do end up using them, we thank you so much in advance. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to StartupWise for more entrepreneurial tips and tutorials. Here on this channel, we make tons of videos helping new and current entrepreneurs grow their businesses. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.